When a metal reacts with water, it produces a metal hydroxide plus hydrogen. So this is the general equation. Here is an example. When sodium reacts with water, it will produce sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. And here is the symbol equation. And we can use the periodic table to help us get some of these symbols. So sodium is an element on the periodic table with the symbol capital N lowercase a. Water has the formula H2O. For sodium hydroxide we take the sodium which is from the metal and the ending hydroxide is OH plus hydrogen which always goes around as a pair so we write that as H2 and these numbers here are just used to balance the equation. So the symbol equation is 2Na plus 2H2O would make 2NaOH plus H2. In a second example, if we reacted calcium with water, we would make calcium hydroxide plus hydrogen. And the symbol equation would be Ca plus 2H2O would make CaOH2 plus H2. So here's one for you to try and complete. And for the symbol equation, you can use the periodic table to help you. You might want to pause the video now whilst you have a go at this. Very well done. If you wrote that potassium plus water would make potassium hydroxide plus hydrogen. And the symbol equation would be 2K plus 2H2O would make 2KOH plus H2. So when we react a metal with water, you can see the hydrogen gas being released. With a more reactive metal, you will see a more vigorous reaction. Here are some examples of some metals we can react with water in the lab. Lead, iron, zinc and magnesium. And when you observe these reactions, you will see a different amount of fizzing. They are all producing hydrogen gas, but some more reactive metals will produce that hydrogen gas a lot quicker than the less reactive metals. And just like when you were reacting metals with acids, you can use these observations to rank your metals in terms of reactivity. So we'd have magnesium, zinc, iron and lead. I'm going to complete this reactivity series now by adding in some more common metals. So less reactive than lead, we have things such as copper and then silver and gold and increasing in reactivity, more reactive than magnesium, we have metals such as calcium and then lithium, sodium and potassium. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at GCSERevisionMonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.